an if else and then I have a loop so I'm gonna drag the loop up here and now it asks me how many times do I want it to loop and I'll make it loop infinity times now you'll notice these little grips see these grips if I grip it I can drag it into the loop so I grip that drag it into the loop drag it into the loop drag it into the loop now when I hit play I can change the speed to four times and what you'll notice is it just loops over and over again I think ten times is what I selected so I'll make it go faster 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 and let's see oh I selected infinity times so it's never gonna stop this loop will just keep going and going and going so I'll hit stop okay so now let's fix that let's do something else alright let's add an object and we'll go up a level to get out of Egypt which brings us back to the main categories and we're gonna go to musical instruments and I'm gonna add a saxophone so I drag the saxophone over and I'm gonna right click it and go to methods set the saxophone's point of view to the mummy's upper body his right arm his forearm his hand to the entire right hand and it will position it right in his hand and then I'll move it around just a little bit and now when I hit play notice the saxophone it does not stay with his hand which is a problem but there's a way in Alice where you can make the saxophone always follow his hand and to do that we're gonna click on the saxophone properties so you'll notice when I click on saxophone over here it highlights saxophone over here and then it gives us access to the sax's details and we can go to properties and you'll see this vehicle property this is a very important property and we can set the vehicle property to the mummy's upper body his right arm his right hand and his entire right hand now watch what happens when we hit play oops that was not right oh you see what I did was I set the pyramids vehicle to the mummy so that the pyramid is in his hand so we need to undo that so I'll set the pyramids back to the entire world and then click on saxophone so make sure saxophones selected and then change the saxophones vehicle to the upper body the right arm the right hand and the entire hand and now when I hit play the saxophone goes everywhere the hand goes just like we wanted it to go okay great now we're gonna do one more thing we are going to learn about dummy objects dummy objects are very powerful in Alice so what I can do is click add objects and then over here on the right underneath effect subparts you'll see more controls so I'll click more controls and gain access to some more controls and you'll see one called drop dummy at camera and another one drop dummy at selected object so I'm gonna click drop dummy at camera boom and you'll notice what it did is it created a dummy object over here on the left and if I fly backwards I can see the dummy object that's it and see how it how it um it was exactly where I created it where the camera was because I dropped the dummy at camera so when I hit play you'll notice the dummy objects invisible and I hit stop I can see it when I'm editing the world but when I hit play it's not there because dummy objects are invisible so when I fly backwards I can do a special a special program I can write I can drag the camera down here and write some code camera set point of view to the dummy now watch what happens when I hit play it flies to that dummy right where I dropped the dummy so this way we can create landmarks where the where the camera can be positioned and we can have the camera automatically go to a, a set position so I have one there 
Now I'm going to try to fly around. Now I'm going to drop one dummy at each face of the pyramid. Watch. So add objects, more controls, drop dummy at camera. And you'll notice it created a dummy just exactly how I was pointing. And the green is the way I was pointing. Now I'll fly over here and then fly backwards to this face and you can see that dummy object still way over there but I'm gonna make another one because we have dummy one dummy two and drop here and now we have dummy three And if I fly backwards a little bit you'll see another dummy object right there and then I'll fly to the, the last face because we already dropped one at the front to right here and I'll drop one more dummy at camera and boom it made dummy four if I fly backwards just a little bit you can see the dummy now I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera to automatically go to that first dummy here so I'll go to camera methods set point of view to dummy one and it flies right there now I'm gonna write some code well first I'm gonna put put these in a do together and then a do in order and I'm gonna say camera set point of view to dummy one and then I'm gonna copy this make copy make copy and remember the way we did that was we drag this down here say camera set point of view to dummy four so we have set point of view to dummy and then this is a copy so I need to change it to dummy two and then change this to dummy three alright and it, it's gonna do it together alright so it's gonna do so I can shrink the code by clicking these little minimize so it's gonna do this do in order and it's gonna loop the mummy dancing at the same time so when I hit play you'll notice the camera goes to each dummy object except back to the beginning um, we'll move this down here and I'm also I'm gonna change the style to abruptly this will make it so that it's not so shaky and I'm gonna change the duration to eight seconds for that one eight 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 now that's gonna make it move slow and look really cool so watch how it flies around I'll speed it up a little and it flies around the pyramid and makes a really cool effect like the matrix and the whole time our, our mummy is still dancing away with the saxophone because they're in a do together loop alright so that's it guys good job I hope this helps